Alan Lacaro is tonight without a roof over his head after a fire just after 10 on Wednesday night gutted his house. The 49-year-old lived alone in the upper flat of this two-story concrete and metal structure at the corner of Louise Bevans and Freedom Streets in Southside Belize City. An unattended candle is believed to have started the blaze in the upper flat. Everything was destroyed and Locaro escaped with only the clothes on his back. He received minor burns to both his hands. Yeah, I was reading a magazine and got sleepy, fell asleep and put it down, no? And then the fire started by a candle, burnt, and yeah, it caught to the sofa that I was sleeping on. Yeah, and uh, yeah, I tried to push the sofa out of through the, through the door on that side, but I wasn't strong enough to push it outside. Yeah, so, so the fire came out of, out of hand, but the police was passing at the same time. Yeah, and um, they came and they assisted me to get out of the house. No? At the conclusion of that fire, the upper flat was gutted by the fire. Uh, sir, the person that was inside the building said that the fire had started from a candle. Did you guys uh, come up with that same report as well? The investigation is still ongoing. However, information received from the occupants was that he did not have electricity and he had used a candle for, uh, to provide lights and he fell asleep. And he believed that the candle may have caused the fire. We're still conducting an investigation to determine the area the fire uh, started from and where the candle was in relation to the area of origin. The National Fire Service arrived on the scene shortly after the blaze erupted and within minutes the fire was contained and extinguished. But in the process, the only wooden stairs to the upper flat collapsed, injuring a firefighter. Uh, during firefight, um, the stairs lead, that leads to the uh, upper flat um, gave way with one of our firefighters who suffered a uh, minor injury to one of his uncle. I don't know if I can get some help to put a you know, temporary stairs to get up. I'm asking for help from your representative or anybody who would be willing to help me to get back my, my life together. No? This is because I understand that how the steps collapse. The step collapse, yeah, with the for the uh, one of the fire service guys, yeah, who was trying to hold the fire. Thank God for these guys, no? Yeah, they save the they, they save they save it, you know. I can still be, you know, refurbished, I think, no, or repair. While he has lost his life's work, Locaro remains optimistic that he will recover. By the grace of God, I'm going to manage and try to build back from the, the, the downstairs, no? Yeah, God, the downstairs is completely burnt, but I can try and do something from there. Lakara says that the value of the house was about $75,000, and neither the house nor the contents were insured. Dwayne Moody for News 5.